and I'm Kevin Garlington from TotalTennisDomination.com and today I want to show you three tips that you can use for your kick serve to make it a killer kick serve and when I'm done Pete's going to show you three uh, tips that you can use for your lefty serve so make sure you stay tuned if you're a lefty out there because Pete's going to really hook you up with three great tips so let's get started on my three tips for a killer kick serve okay so like I said let's start with the first one what do I mean by the correct toss well a little different from your normal toss that I like to say we're trying to get over the hitting arm shoulder. So if I'm tossing the ball, oh, that's actually almost like a kick serve toss. If I'm tossing the ball, I get the ball over my hitting arm shoulder. For the kick serve, we want to toss the ball slightly more to the left. So what this does is by tossing it slightly more to the left, we're going to make sure that we can brush up on the ball. Now, one thing that I didn't mention, it's not really a tip, it's just you got to have it anyway if you want to have a good serve, is having the right grip. And that's the continental grip. And the easiest way I always like to say, if we're not counting bevels and everything, is if you grab the racket like a hammer, and all I want you to do is turn it sideways with the racket face down. Now, if your wrist is nice and smooth here, you've got a continental grip. Now, if you feel like your wrist is too far under, you got this little notch there, you don't have a continental grip. And this is what I think a lot of players struggle with, is they have the pan, the, the, the pan frying grip, where they're hitting serves like this, and they're wondering why they can't hit a kick serve. But if you see, you notice how my wrist is nice and popped up there? That's that pancake, pan frying grip that you're not going to be able to use. We need the continental grip, and this is why it connects to your toss. By tossing the ball a little bit more over to my left here, make sure you guys can see it, tossing it over to my left, it allows me to brush up on the ball. Now, if we toss the ball over here, it makes it much harder to actually brush up on the ball because the, uh, the ball is on this side of your body. It makes it much easier if we're getting in this position and brushing up, really brushing up on the ball. So we want to make sure we adjust that toss. And I like to say that this is one of those opportunities where we want the toss over my head. Okay? By having the toss over my head when I'm hitting the kick serve, it allows me to get in this position where the butt of the racket's pulling up and brushing up on the ball. Okay? So that was my first tip that we talked about, making sure we move that, that ball toss a little bit more over my head. Okay? Now, a little bit of a warning, we don't want the toss so far on the uh, left side, if you're right-handed, that you're having to reach this far behind you. That leads into my next tip, which is a lot of players think that, well, I want to kick serve. So what do you say? You, you toss the ball behind you, and what you wind up doing is bending your back. Okay. Well, one way to overcome this and prevent this is make sure we're not bending our back in this motion, but we're actually bending our knees, okay? The reason we want to do this is we don't want to put too much pressure on the back because when you put yourself in this position, you can put yourself in this position and feel how weak you are from here. You can't really snap up that fast. Compared to if I'm bending my legs, I can actually push up much faster. And that push up action is going to contribute to you making sure you get more racketed speed to make sure that ball really kicks up. So make sure when we're doing our, uh, our kick serve that you find yourself easing into the kick serve by bending your knees. Finally, tip number three. I call it leaving the racket in the, uh, <laughs> leaving the racket above your head longer. And why this is so important. A lot of players, when they go out and try to uh, do a kick serve, what their biggest problem is, they keep hitting through the ball, okay? You have the right motion, but you're going forward, okay? You don't want to go forward so much. Just like if you're hitting a topspin forehand, you know, you got to think about it this way. If I'm brushing a topspin forehand this way, I'm going to get a lot of spin. But if I brush and start pushing through the ball, you're going to get spin, but you're going to get a lot of penetration too. We want a lot more spin than penetration. The more or the harder you hit the kick serve, the more it's going to go through the court and it's not going to kick. So the, the final tip I have for you is when we're bending and we got the toss in the right place, what we want to do is brush up on the ball and keep the racket off to the side. Okay? What this does is it really helps us not go through the ball. So, so the way I want to do this is for the kick serve, when I toss the ball up and I'm in this position, I'm going to brush up the back, just like we were talking about brushing the back of the ball, or if you're thinking backhand, brushing up the back of the ball, I'm going to brush the back of the ball and notice this motion. I'm going up the back of the ball, my racket's going out and over around to the side. You see this a lot on the, the tour when you see uh, guys and girls hitting their kick serve, you see the finish is more out here. Okay, because they're not going through the court, they're brushing up on the ball, and this action is happening really fast. You see them really go up and brush up. So this is it for the kick serve. Now Pete's going to take you for or take you and give you some great tips for your lefty uh, serve. So 
Pete, take it away. Hey Kevin, great job as always on the kick serve. So guys, if you wanna learn how to hit an absolutely just nasty slice serve, okay? One that really moves off the court. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I'm gonna to show you how to do that by three tips that you may have heard out there that I actually don't want you to think about when you're serving. So the first tip you may have heard is to think about pronate when you're hitting the slice serve. And it's actually a good point because you do pronate when you hit a slice serve. However, I'm more concerned about the feeling than what's actually going on. So when I'm hitting a slice serve, I'm certainly not thinking about pronating. I'm thinking the opposite. I'm thinking about really cutting the ball. And that's why I'm able to get such a nice spin off the court. Take a look at a, a video clip of me serving from behind. All right, so guys, here's why I don't think you need to worry so much about thinking about pronation on the slice serve. So you'll see when I go to hit, watch how the racket edge, see, not a lot of people get to see that shot. Look how the, the racket is basically pointing straight up to the sky at this point. So it's impossible for me to hit the ball unless I do what guys unless I do some form of pronation here so you see right before I hit the ball that's when I start to pronate out but I'm still thinking about hitting around the side of the ball and then you can see the pronation continues you see as I'm going out there that is basically what you're looking at pronation there but I am not thinking about that at all when I'm hitting that slice serve okay so tip number two that you've probably heard that I don't mind thinking about is tossing the ball right over the head so you can have one toss. Now that's great. You know, Roger Federer, Pete Sampras, a lot of great servers have just that one toss. They have really good slice serves. Uh, and if you already have that and you feel like you've got a great slice serve, doesn't need to improve at all, then, then I'm not asking you to change your toss. But if you'd like to learn how to slice a little more easy, you see, I don't worry about you know kind of showing that I'm probably gonna hit a slicer by tossing the ball out more of the side because I can move the ball over the box I can hit it out wide but I can also hit it in their body I can even kind of sneak it in down the middle of the court with with my um, tossing grip looking like it's gonna be a slice serve so I don't worry about you know having two different toss between kick and slice and if you're struggling to really slice that ball I think you want to move the ball more out to the side like I just did there that was a really nice serve and it's a lot easier especially because the ball has to travel across the court I find that if you throw the ball directly over your head which I'm going to show you if you throw the ball directly over your head it gets harder to really create that angle I feel like you have less court to work with And you end up missing way out wide, like you just saw me do there. I see, I, I see people, you know, miss that ball way out wide to where when I throw it out to the side, it can gradually hook into the court. When I throw it out to the side, it gradually hooks across into the court as I hit that slice serve. Okay, so that's tip number two that I don't want you to follow. And the final tip that I've heard people talk about is they show, hey, on the slice serve it's a myth that you come around the side of the ball you're actually hitting it more flat than you think you are well yeah that that is actually true okay but when you're thinking about hitting that slice serve let me get a little closer in the camera I'm certainly not thinking about aiming right for the middle of the ball if I throw that ball up and I'm looking to hit flat on I'm actually thinking about turning that to the side right and even having the ball face the bottom a little bit so I can really cut around it that's what I'm thinking about in my mind so I'm not thinking about throwing that up if you will and hitting it let me get it like flat on I'm not thinking about hitting it flat on I'm thinking about the ball the you know what I'm aiming for being out to the side and cutting around it so those are the three suggestions I have if you really want to start to add some nasty slice to your serve if you like the tips I've given you on your kick serve so far, I got a brand new special training for you called the Killer Kick Serve Combos. And what it is, is five of the absolute best kick serve combos that you need to start using today to win more points, games, and matches. So what I'm gonna take you through is especially how to win those big points, how to mix it up, when should you throw in the kick serve, and when should you not throw in the kick serve. 
So if you want to get this free training, click the box below, enter your name and email address, and I'm going to send you this training directly to your inbox. This is Kevin Garlington at TotalTennisDomination.com, and go out and play tough. So I hope you enjoyed my train on the slice serve today. If you'd like to learn a winning strategy for your slice serve, you can check out my free training called Six Big Money Plays to Run Off the Slice. All you gotta do is click here or if you're on your mobile device, go to the description below to click on the link. Also make sure to check out Kevin's train. He's one of the best instructors on the internet.